Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of I Can Fell. I didn't mean to go into this cutscene, but okay. Well, I guess he made it this far. Now the real show begins. Boss fight? <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'm all back together again. Want to pass through to Eichenfell? Come, let me have a closer look at you. <laughs> uh, did I... I healed up, right? Party. Yeah, you're looking good, Marie. Alright, cool. But yeah, last time we collected all these bits of the torch and started the game and everything, and this time I guess we're gonna do a boss fight, maybe? Oh, look at you. So full of conflict, yet burning so bright. Normally I just let folks pass through, but things have changed. I'm feeling all charged up. Let's make this interesting. Yup, it's a boss fight. Engage. Alright, here's our first one. Move to your desired position. Is that an enemy over there? Yeah, it is. Each one of his little flames are enemies. Ooh, this music's good. I like this music. Whoa, he jumps? Okay, Kindle. Oh no, he creates new ones? Is... I mean, logic would say my fire isn't even going to be effective against fire. But we'll do it anyway. The flame explodes, damaging anyone next to it. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, you're gonna get annihilated. Okay, I did manage to block it at least. Okay, let's... Let's do this. Because we should be able to hurt those and also... What? That attack barely even scratched it. Maybe there's another way to deal more damage. There is. We just gotta blow those things up. Okay, um... Well, let's do this again. I think those things had like 2 HP, didn't they? Yeah, there we go. There's 6 damage. Big boy damage. Kendall. We're just gonna keep summoning those, huh? Burst. Uh... Are you gonna blow up on me now? Ow! Okay. I don't know if I could guard that or not. Move to your desired position. Yeah, let's just go ahead and smack you with an ignite. Okay, that's two damage. That's not bad. Good block. Alright, we probably just want to wait for that thing to move into position, so... How about... Whoop, I didn't mean to end my turn. I meant to use an item. Okay, well now it's in position, so... Let's just go ahead and ignite it. Boom. And blow up on you. Good. You're just summoning another one of those, instead of attacking me. Okay, well let's move away. And go ahead and use a small mushroom here. <clears throat> Sounds like a good idea to me. I hope me facing the back doesn't change anything. Okay, no, I can still block and stuff. It doesn't matter what direction we're facing. Cool. Alright, well let's do another ignite. Boom. Dead. Dead, I think. Haha! -ha. I've defeated you, Lantern. Good job, Marit. We did it. You still didn't level up, though. Great work, darling. Now off to magic school with you. Yeah. I'm a witch, I am. Hello, kitty. Please heal me. HP is restored. Whoop. Well, I did want to say progress, but whatever. We'll we'll do it at the next save point. Road to Eichenfell. Alrighty. God, I'm just so into this game right now. You pet the cat. Yep. Well, we can save here. I'm just so into this. It gives me, like, Undertale, Earthbound, Paper Mario, just, like, all kinds of vibes. It's, it's basically every single thing I want in a little RPG. Oh. Okay, you're a stack of, in, of these things. Mosslings, I believe they were called. That's different. Well, let me set you on fire. Anyway. Oh, you have more health because you're stacked. Okay, that was... Wow, I got a grade on that? I wasn't... <laughs> like, I, I didn't think that was the correct way to guard that at all, but here we are. Oh, now they've split up. Okay. Well, die. Shine and all that. 
Okay, so... They're basically just... Like, you have to defeat the stack of them, and then they become just normal Mosslings. Interesting. If only we had another character, we could get through these fights a bit faster, but... Honestly, the fights move so quickly, like, there's not a lot of time wasted, which is very nice. Like, everything moves super fast, so... The fights aren't too terribly long. There's not a lot of pausing and a lot of text scrolling across the screen saying that, like, this character used that or whatever. Like, the turns are just very quick. I got plus one attack power and plus one sp agility or speed, I think that is. That is attack and speed, right? Um, let's see, party. Yep, attack and speed. Or power and speed, excuse me. North, I can fail. South, the stock and barrel. <laughs> Stock and barrel. University Village. Hello, chickens. I want to see the chickens. I, I imagine I want to explore this place first, right? The door is locked, but this building feels oddly familiar. Why? The door is locked, but this building feels oddly familiar. Is that like an Earthbound reference or something? I don't know. I don't know how... how many references they would put in or how obvious the references would even be, but... Them saying it feels oddly familiar makes me feel like it's from Earthbound. So... I don't know though, I'm, I'm probably just missing the point wildly. So this is a new enemy it seems. The weird burb. Have I fought one of these before? I don't think I have. I know I fought the mushroom guy. Okay, that was pretty good damage. Wing blade. Oh yeah, that's an attack. Okay, so... Fireball again. Okay, I got a great that time. You do have to wait a really long time to get... the, um... Fireball to get a great. Like, you have to wait way later than I think you do. Oh, yeah, we did four there. Yeah, because our attack increased. Neato. I wasn't sure if it was, like... For, for every point of attack you got, that's just straight up an extra attack damage or not, but it seems like that's the case. The front door is locked. I mean, I imagine all these places are going to be locked, right? Oh. There's a secret stash of treasure somewhere in the woods around here. I think it's on the path that leads to the gate, but I can't find it. Oh, is it going to be like an invisible wall type thing? Pink seeds. What do those do? Restore 10 HP to a distant party member. Okay, well that's useful. Alrighty. Hello, Mossling. You're guarding that house. What, what do you got in there, huh? What you got in there, friend? Alright, uh, ignite you. And boom. Probably if I see Mosslings from, uh, from now on, I'll probably skip, uh, the Mossling fights. As long as they're the only thing in the fight, because we have seen these quite a few times at this point, so... These, I feel comfortable skipping. Because it is just basically the same thing every time me going through this and doing this, but like I said, honestly, the fights aren't super long. And as long as I have something to talk about during them, I don't super mind showing them, but I'm thinking of this from a place where what would I want to see if I was watching the LP and tedious fights like this, I would probably just want cut out at, at least after we've seen them about a million times, but yeah, we'll see. I don't know if I'll get as cut happy as I did with like Origami King or Bug Fables, but we may cut some out at some points. I'm scared to even go outside these days. Yeah, there was a mossling tower outside your house. Everything is weird around here. Luckily, I don't have to go far to stock up on stock si cider. I'm just gonna loot your stuff. A fire poker. The old, uh, what, what another lp -er I watch, uh, says the, uh, hero tax. People, a hero is allowed to just come into your house and steal your shit. It's the rule, them's the rules. So a fire poker is better than a pocket knife. I mean, I guess that makes sense. We are a fire mage. You think a fire poker would be a pretty good wand for us. What we really need is a good old phoenix feather one, like from Harry Potter. That would that would be like super powerful for a fire mage, right? All right, and we still can't go in there. There's nothing to do in that particular place. So said on the way to the gate, there's a secret hidden in the forest. But he said he can't find it. Well, I want to find it. Out on an errand, we'll return later. Stock Omfrey. 
The st stock and barrel, your home away from home. Can I look in the window? I can't. Alright, so... Road to Eichenfell. On the way to the gate, it said. So I'm just gonna kind of rub my face into all these forests. And hope that one of them just allows me to walk through. It's probably this way, right? Because it said it was on the way to the, um... What's it called? The Eichenfell gate. Alright, nerd. Um, I can't reach you with that, but I can reach you with Fireball. So... And I can get a grate with it. Yeah, go ahead and attack me and don't move. That makes this a whole lot easier. Because now I can move here. I feel like I'm getting better with the fireball cast. Like, I'm learning that timing a bit more. So I can get the grates consistently. And that speeds up fights a lot. Cool, cool. So yeah, if I just keep doing that, then we'll be good. You're new, I believe. Looks like you're a fire-type bird. Possibly, if I had to guess. Or just a really fast one, jeez. Running right up on me. Five damage, you lived, wow. Yep, you're a fire. Oh jeez. Okay, that was purely on reflex, that block. I was not sure what was gonna happen there, but I just happened to press the button just in time. Ouch. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, ignite. Because this does more damage to single targets, I believe, so there's no point in doing fireball when there's just one enemy that's near me. But when there's multiple enemies, fireball is very, very worth doing. Yeah, the combat is just so fast. I love it. I even compare it to something like Paper Mario. It's like, you don't, you don't really have to spend much time in the menus, and there's no long animations. It's just like, boom, do it. Okay, now it's the enemy's turn. Boom, now it's your turn. I like that. Okay, two of you guys, huh? I'm gonna fight most enemies if I see them, uh, just because that's usually how I like to play JRPGs. So if I ever feel like me fighting like all of the enemies gets obnoxious or difficult to watch, that is when I will start cutting them out for sure. But uh, for now, I'm I'm getting used to the attacks and everything. I'm sure people want to see me kind of learn uh, the action command timings and all that. So we'll uh, show it for now. And if we ever get any new party members, which I assume we are, uh, I'll definitely be showing any combat with them. I'm gonna have to heal up after this fight, because I'm sure people were like, uh, Quasi, your health is getting too dangerously low for my taste. <laughs> Alright, so there we go, we got some money. Low HP, let's go ahead and heal that up. Alrighty. Alright. Had a little something come up I had to take care of, but now we're back. A lot of, uh, a lot of birds. Two firebirds this time. What are you guys doing, huh? I do- God, I- I want to look to the left side of the screen so much to see when it's my turn, but no, I- I can't do that. So these things seem like they're nearly as fast as I am. They're moving, uh, quite quickly. All right, I should be able to hit both of you next turn. No, you moved just far enough away. Oh, you can use that attack from far. You're the one I hurt, right? So we need to focus on you. All right, we got two turns coming up next. Oops, oh, okay, I timed that badly. Huh. Boom. Shine, please. I would appreciate it. There we go. There we are, doing pretty well. Alright, so... Boom, boom. Got ourselves some more money. Ooh, a witch's hat. But that's... It's Safina's hat. Mine. What? Excuse me? What? What? Witch hat. Mine now. Thanks. But that's my sister's hat. Sister? Don't see her. Guess it's mine then. Why are you force choking me? Stop that, Darth. Uh, l let me go. 
As you wish. Okay, so you got telekinesis stuff. My hand is burning? So people have magic, new magic too, not just creatures. New witch, sticking your head into hats that don't belong in. Stay away from this beret, Frey. I would not like for you to get hurt. You say that as you just threw me into the wall, you weird magneto freak. What was that all about? I guess Magneto's whole thing is magnetism, not telekinesis, so I'm just wrong there. But I'm, I'm not a big X-Men guy. So this is Eichenfell's outer wall, huh? But Safina would never leave her hat behind. It looks like the gate is just up ahead. Uh, I can't help but notice. Ah, I thought that was the secret. I thought that was the secret path. Come on, where's the secret path? It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? That looks like it could be a secret path as well. That little lone tree down there hanging out. Come on. I need to find the secret path. Ah, oh, here's the secret path. Yes. Black bomb, red earrings, and a rare gem. Okay, I'm glad I went back for that. Okay, what do red earrings do? Just increase my attack damage. Well, I don't want to lose that much speed, so... Speed is honestly pretty good to have, so no, we're keeping that. What was the other things I got? I got like rare gym, just selling fodder. The gym master will try to do wonderful things for it, and we got another black bomb. Right, okay, cool. So that was the little secret path it talked about. I just walked past it earlier, but I'm sure people were like, oh my god, there it was, but no, I got it. We got it. Alrighty. So, wait, what is that? So this is the gate to Eichenfell. Doesn't seem to go... anywhere. Well, I'm sure if we press this very conspicuous gem... What do we have here? It's making a strange noise. S Safina? I can hear her voice, but it sounds strange. Younger? Uh... What? Are we in the past? What was that? Everything is... fuzzy? Yep, we're in the past now. Uh, hello. Oh, uh... Excuse me, are you a ghost too? Yeah, you can actually interact with people here. You're just viewing. She doesn't even see me. Ugh, this place is so weird. What's going on? I can't... I can't wait to learn some cool magic! S- Safina! You're... Why are you so young? Ahem. Welcome to Eichenfell, School of Magic. I see you have all donned your new uniforms. The clasp on your cape bears Eichenfell's insignia. It is enchanted and will protect you within these walls. Now reach deep into the pockets of your coats, as deep as you can. My whole arm fits inside! Now, what do we have here? Oh, what? Some bottles and pins. Boring. Each witch and wizard has their specialty. Magic they excel at. But potions and enchantments are core tools for every spellcaster. You have been provided a basic kit for learning these essential skills. <laughs> Who cares about that boring stuff? Psst, hey! I can't wait until I can turn invisible. I'll be able to sneak around anywhere I want. Hey, what's your name? It's Petronella. Please, shh. I don't want to get into tr trouble. That was always me when somebody was talking to me when the teacher was <laughs> going on. I was like, shh, man, you're gonna get me in trouble. Be quiet. Heh, you're pretty cute. 
Oh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Ahem, Miss Hildegard. That's me, call me Saf. Miss Hildegard, I know it is your first day and you are very excited, but please contain yourself, at least until we are inside the walls. Now, this gate may not look like much, but it is. Yeesh. Psst. Hey, Petronella. Who's the crotchety old lady? Wh who's the... Y you don't know? That's Headmistress Eldra. She runs the school. Now, shh. You are now witches and wizards of Eichenfell. Let us enter. Let's go. Much simpler than jumping into a wall at like a subway station, I guess. Saf, what? Wait. What is happening? Is this a memory? A dream? Seems to be that way. All this magic is just trying to mess with me. I don't get it. But maybe I can find another way inside. Uh, and what would you suppose that would be? No, uh, walking through the back didn't work. Well, that was my only idea. Now my other idea is to go back. Yeah, okay, there we go. A flying hat. What will they think of next? They told us something strange was happening at Eichenfell. But that sure took me by surprise. I I think this is a bit more fitting voice for this guy. I wish you would take this more seriously, sir. The forest is out of control. Something strange is happening here. There's our edgelord character. Bax, you need to relax a little. They sent us to take care of it, and we will, as usual. And please don't call me sir when it's just the two of us. Oh, hello there. You must be a student. Um, actually, I... I'm Ivan Oxley, at your service. And my exceedingly handsome compatriot here is Bax Twyford. <laughs> He's blushing. But you probably already knew that. Um, sorry. I've never heard of you. Really? Well, if you've been paying attention to the magazine covers, you'd know. Yours truly is the most powerful wizard in the coven. Bax here is to assist me on a secret mission for the coven. I told them I was fine on my own, but he insisted. Sir, it's not a secret mission if you tell everybody. Don't be a fuss, it's nothing I can't handle. We're just here to find the headmistress and a red-haired girl. Speaking of... Hmm... Red hair... Teenager... And she doesn't know about the famed Ivan Oxley! Definitely suspicious! Wait... You say you're looking for a red-haired girl? I'm a genius, Bax! We found one of our suspects! Uh... I've heard she's one of Eichenfeld's most talented students! Let's have a little duel to see what she's capable of. Sir, I don't think that's... You can hang back, Bax. Let me handle this one. Well, wait I'm gonna stab you with my fire poker, I am. Move to your desired position. Alright, here we go. Uh, they seem to be just as fast as me, so... Uh, I don't have the benefits of my speed. Bax is not hanging back, I feel the need to point out. Yeah, you guys come to me. Prepare yourself for my ultimate attack. The Oxley Special. Oh no. Uh... That wasn't damaging at all. Wait, was... That it? Okay, well, I'm going to now set you on fire, sir. Okay, yeah, that did way more damage than he did. 
dust. Ivan, please, do not exert yourself. You heal? With, like, a bat? Okay, so what I need to do here is clearly take out this guy first, right? Well, let's use an item. We have, uh, what does this do? Decreases defense. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Because we probably got to take out that guy first. And he's gone. Alright, and now I can just focus on murdering you. Whoops. Screwed that up. Oh, but that was enough. A noble foe indeed! Later, nerds. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really use a lot of magic on you. I basically just nuked you guys with a bomb, but... What is your strange magic, girl? I've never seen anything like it. Yep, I knew it. She's not our girl. I just had to test her, to be certain. Let's go. We have to find a way into the school. It was a pleasure dueling, but it's a good thing I went easy on you. My magic is actually much too powerful to be fighting children with. I'm not a child. Wait. Are you looking for... Sorry, no time for autographs. I have a secret mission to attend to. Gah. Please don't just vanish without me, sir. This really- this- these two, like, right here, for anyone that's watched Korra, The Legend of Korra, it really reminds me of when Mako is, like, the attendant for the prospective, uh, new king of the Earth Kingdom, like, that guy. It really reminds me of that relationship. Ugh, is everybody like this in the magic world? But why are people looking for my sister? Safina, what have you gotten yourself into? What indeed? Oh, hey! Is there a kitty cat over here? I would like a kitty cat. Well, hello. Who are you? Door's locked? Okay. Well, no, I already knew what that was. I don't know why I said, what are you? I knew what it was, but... I was just wondering if I could get in it now. This is a good song. I like this song. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and save right here. I have to get this video up today, actually. I'm recording this today. It has to go up, so... Just to make sure it goes up and everything, I think we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Eichenfell, and I will see you next time.